Hey everyone, so today we're doing a really cool haircut. I'm gonna be doing a lot of uh, scissor work here, mostly all scissor work. Uh, and what I'm trying to do is create a kind of a layered and textured haircut. Now, I don't wanna call this medium length, but it's definitely not like your traditional, maybe, you know, number two on the sides, faded up. This is something where I'm literally just pulling all the hair straight out from the head. And as you can see, right in this area, especially if you have like a calic or a swirl, you need to have this hair a bit longer just because that is what is going to keep the hair uh, from swirling around and moving all the place. You need to keep that weight right in this area, AKA leaving the hair a little bit longer. So what I'm doing now is I'm literally holding everything straight out horizontal and I'm point cutting. If you have issues with your haircut at home, you feel like, you know, there's not a lot of texture, nothing really much is going on to it. It's just really, really blunt and solid. You could try point cutting like I'm doing. Obviously, you do it at your own risk or go see a professional. But if you are daring enough to attempt this yourself, then you see I'm point cutting into the tips of the, uh, the, the strands, right? The strands, the section. So now uh, what I'm doing is I'm layering. Layering is the key point of all this. And you can see... I'm literally cutting it shorter to longer, right? Because why we want to leave some length in the front. So once again, I'm point cutting to create a bit more of a jagged edge. This is great if somebody's got, you know, thicker hair uh, and you're looking for a little bit more texture. However, you see, I am making sure I'm still taking some length off because I don't want to just point cut into the tips and not remove any length here. I got to make sure that I'm cutting some of the length off. So I'm holding the front, as you can see, higher up because we're leaving the front the longest point. If you wanna have a haircut like this, you wanna have that really nice flow, you need to make sure the front is longer. If you're going to grow, as you can see right through here, I'm just, just, just kind of the finished look, but see what happens, how it bounces straight up. If you don't have that length, it's gonna spring back and be too short. So once again, back to the haircut, I'm cutting the corners now. My method is the top, the corners, and the sides. So that's how I cut hair. That's the kind of methodology. Now we're into the sides. Uh, that's what I follow, right? Top, corners, and sides. And as you can see, a lot of sheer work here, a lot of detailing is going on into this haircut. We have that length in the front, and I would go in and use 25 spray, then tidal wave to give it some volume, give it some texture, and then you could either leave it as is or maybe use like my crafted matte pomade, a little bit of that, uh, a little bit of shadow maybe. But yeah, look at all those nice layers. Um, I think it's a haircut that is always gonna look good. There's all that texture we did from the point cutting. And let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this haircut. Don't forget, use code YouTube20 for 20% off at shop.thesalonguy.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.